What's up guys? It's your boy Pickle, back out of the end with another Base Wars video. Today we are collaborating with THE Mr. Clarky Jr. for a uh, tank showcase and killstreak video. So the point of this video is to uh, display how powerful the tank can be when you have a gunner. Especially when you can heal like 30% of your health and be able to shoot multiple targets at a time. Having two people in one tank can be superior to two people in two tanks. So that is the plan today. Okay. Spawn Something might like crazy happen immediately. Alright, I am in the tank. That would have been crazy. That would have been a crazy beginning. I cannot aim with this. Where it's a very weird velocity. It's like 385 and a half meters per second. When uh, artillery is 400. I don't know why. It's protected. And then we're gonna push him. Okay, so we're also getting shot from the other side. I'm gonna drive it's away a, from him. It's an AV turret. Oh, he's super low. There we go. Uh, there we go. Vehicle and storage. It's, a Mac tank. it's a Mac tank. You know you one shot Mac tank back armor. I'm gonna miss. Oh shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. I told, I told, oh my I told, god, I told, god you, I, I told you, I told you. I predict the future. I'll just run him a little bit. There you go, jumps a good in. A kill is a kill. I'm telling you, I'm so used to dual heat, it's ridiculous. You should see Rolo in this thing. Rolo, like, he actually looks like just an aimbot. I got gameplay from him. Like, actual live stream gameplay. And I don't know, like, how. But he just knows where to aim. This guy in the window, like, stuck. Yeah, I see him. What? Okay, splash kill. I shot him, like, two times with the machine gun. I was thinking about getting 10k on tank before I hit 500,000 kills. You know what? Now that you mention it, I am insanely close to my 100k Vortex again. Really? Yeah, like 40 kills? Bro. That is insanely close, actually. How many total do you have? That's not bad. You have like, what, 40%? On Vortex. Mac honestly has about the same. I have like 20% or something like that. A little bit under 20%. I have like 86k. Jeez. Then I have 47,000 on SMGX. Uh, anti vehicle turret. Yeah, I see him. I don't know where he's shooting at. Oh, finally he decides to shoot at us. What was that? Yeah, that was, uh, oh yeah, he he's literally just pot shotting us. Cool. No. So ATB's gonna ignore us. It's bailing. No man are plasma lancing us. For like what, nine percent? Doesn't do a lot to tank. No, I'm gonna get rid of that guy's ATV. So I think He's in the AP turret behind the tank oh. itself, so I'll probably just whack him with a music over it. Unfortunately, like one of those old tutorial music videos. Honestly, uh, when I was looking at it, uh, like old classic Roblox music came up on my uh, YouTube feed. Really? Yeah. That's crazy. I actually recognized some of them. It was weird.
Uh, basically, heat is just your best bet for an all-round kind of average damage, average splash damage. Okay, reload. Okay, burst DPS. It's you get you basically get the average of all the other uh, vehicle tiers in the game. It is kind of overshadowed by dual heat, which kind of does just does its job a little bit better. But oh, I just got clipped. Auto cannon. Uh, auto cannon has the best, technically the best DPS, but the burst damage is so low and it is slightly inaccurate. That it doesn't really make up for it in, in any way. It's literally just is how it is. It's not really worth it. Like, you can bunker camp with it because of the high splash damage. But besides that, I really just don't think it's worth it. Uh, armor piercing is probably the best one. It's because of the high burst damage. Um, and its ability to one-shot, like, attack helicopter. And bomber is very very useful especially because a main weakness of battle tanks is the um, it's not very capable of taking out aircraft because of the angle limits so when you're able to one-shot it like that before it can get out of your angle limit it's very useful um what's next high explosive it actually has a really quick wheel it's like 1.75 seconds so it is very useful for just a lot of splash damage DPS very, very quickly. Like, it does like 1700 splash damage. So you're able to one-shot splash most armors in the game, including shield armor. And you're just able to spam left-click into the, uh... Into the, uh... Like a bunker. Even in the enemy base, you can literally just click the ceiling and you'll be able to get kills. Railgun isn't very good. It has the most damage per shot out of anything, but it's just that the reload is four seconds, so it has less effective DPS than AP and doesn't one-shot anything that AP doesn't. So really, all you're using it for is long range because it has the higher velocity, it has above average velocity. So it technically has longer range, but just the long reload and... The poor DPS because of that just makes it not worth it, in my opinion. And then as for the secondaries, um, the the 20 millimeter machine gun I think is the best all round, especially for what its role is as a secondary gunner. You want something to complement the primary weapon, where the pri the primary weapon could be like the auto cannons, which are terrible against aircraft. And then you have something like the 20mm machine gun to make up for that. Because it's exceptional at taking out aircraft. Because of the, uh... Because of the no angle limits. And then the grenades are very, very niche. Like, the grenades are very good at taking out jeeps, uh, defense turrets, and splash damage. So it's good at taking out infantry. You can also loop shots. But especially when you're doing a two-man tank, it's not really good because... It's very hard to line up your shots with the um, when you have someone else piloting. It's just not ideal. So for that reason, I would not recommend it for a two-man tank. But if you're soloing it, it's a fine option. Um... What's next? Plasma Lance. It's a very good long range weapon. Like, if you're doing Railgun and Plasma Lance and you're base camping, that's fine. Uh, because you're, you're literally just going to be able to outperform anyone else at long range. The uh, Chain Gun is probably the second best thing on here. It especially, it, it would be the best thing if you didn't have to deal with aircraft because of just its absurd DPS against everything, including aircraft. It just has a slightly lower velocity and poor range, so it's not very good against uh, aircraft, especially long ranged aircrafts like trackers or attack helicopters. You're gonna be having a very hard time hitting that, uh, especially with the whole angle limit thing that tank has. 
it is just not uh I, I don't think it's worth it to use uh, if you're trying to fight aircraft, but if you're just trying to fight like defense turrets or tanks and artillery just trying to rush you I think the guaranteed close-range DPS is something that's really hard to pass up uh, That combined with the very very high ammo capacity it Makes it for a very easy to use weapon And it is something that I highly recommend using if you are uh, uh, two manning specifically Because you would have the uh, you would have the primary gunner, and then you would basically act as a complement and a DPS booster with the secondary gunner. Uh, front armor, I I personally don't run it, but I know people that do. It's very nice, especially when you're just trying to hold W. Like when you're fighting one opponent at a time and you're just able to turn that front armor. I think front armor has a slightly better resistance than side armor as well. Overall. And it just dramatically reduces your damage uh, your damage intake when you're trying to one-on-one -on -one someone. And then for the side armor, it technically covers more of your tank than the front armor. It just covers it in a less ideal area. Uh, when you're trying to one-on-one -on -one someone and you just can't quite and you can't hold W It would be better for people who like strafing in tanks. I think I personally run it because it, it, it's just I think it's just a little bit better to have that insurance that You know if you're strafing against someone and someone does come up like Im Immediately behind you when you can't see them you have armor back there because you'll be able to your camel will be able to cover your side flank So you'll see someone trying to shoot your side or your technically what would be your back flank which is your weak armor. Uh, overall, I would say the best setup to run if you do not have T5 yet is AP and a 20mm machine gun if you're running with a teammate. You could possibly get away with grenades, but grenades are very hard to use. But I, I would try them out. And then for tier 5 users, I recommend uh, dual heat as it has the best DPS. And the burst damage isn't even that bad. And you have the splash damage of high explosive anti-tank rounds. So I would use that. And then I would also I would go back and forth between chain gun and 20mm machine gun. It just really depends on who you're trying to fight. Like if there are planes coming after you, I would use 20mm machine gun. But if there aren't, just use the uh, chain gun for the guaranteed long-lasting high DPS.